I'm going to do a video. They're fun videos. Some Trump fun videos. Okay, today is uh, the 18th, I think. The 18th of November. Uh, he still hasn't conceded the election. Quite a guy. That's our special guy. So let's see. Let's see how he's doing. How is Trump doing? So I'm going to use the Marseille Tarot, the Majors. This is a uh, this deck is put out by La Scarabio, and I did uh, cut it down. So it's been cut down. Usually there's a little border on this, but I cut those down. Fun little deck. And uh, this is uh, called an open reading. So you just kind of pull the cards and read them and in relation to one another, you ask a question. And uh, this, this kind of reading is uh, explained more clearly in Bendoff's book, right, which um, he talks about the Marseille. So how is Trump doing? Let's see how he's doing. Or maybe I should be more specific. Uh, how is he going to deal with this... Um, election results. How is he going to transfer? How is this transfer going to take place? How is this transfer of uh, power going to take place with Trump? How is he going to deal with the transfer of power? Right now he's, he's not handling it well. He's refusing to accept the results. How is he going to transfer power? How is Trump going to transfer power? Okay, well, uh, so here we have, you know, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Moon card, and then we have the Chariot. Uh, typically you read, the, I, I, I read um, the Wheel of Fortune card as fate. Things go up, things go down, there's a lot of ups and downs. The Moon card is usually hidden knowledge. Uh, can be kind of a dark card. And then we have the chariot moving forward. Now, when you read the Marseille, there's a lot of things to look at. Uh, you, you see how the cards interact with one another. And to be honest with you, I don't see a lot of interaction with these cards. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is sort of an entity unto itself, going, going around and around and around. We have the Moon card. that uh, The Moon is looking in a direction, but it's looking in this direction. And we have this, these wild dogs and uh, the crustacean hidden hidden below. And then we have the uh, chariot. Again, that's not looking... Forward would be this way. This chariot uh, is not looking in any of these directions. It's kind of looking at me, the reader. And the chariot is, is uh, movement forward, or movement ahead, I should say. So where do we have this? I think I see it right now. Of course, it's not surprising because he is not moving in any kind of direction, kind of a stalemate. Uh, the die has been cast. The election has been, uh, people have made their choice, and he has been, uh, he did not win the election. So there was some fate here. I think unexpected fate. I think he thought he was going to win. He was hoping to win. His followers thought he was going to win. But fate came in, and he did not win the election. So now he's in this situation with the moon. The moon is hidden knowledge. This moon is trying to figure out his next move. He looks, he's looking at the election. He's still, I think he's still having trouble realizing what, uh, he's trying to acclimate himself to the fact that he lost because I, I don't think it was in his, his uh, purview. I think he has made, there was hidden deals made uh, between him and, and Russia again that this, you know, that it was going to be in the bag and that he was going to get through with the skin of his teeth some funny work was maybe going on, but it didn't happen. Uh, and then there's this movement forward. Now, a chariot is moving forward, but he's not really looking, he's not really going forward. He's just sort of standing there. So he is, I, I think what he's doing is, he's just, I see this as a standing still for a little while longer. He is coming up with a plan to move forward, but there's, 
there's some hidden knowledge here. He's working on things behind the scenes to get his strategy going. And I'm not sure how good that's going right now because he doesn't seem to be moving over here. He seems to be looking backward. In other words, he may be looking at some previous relationships he's had and that didn't come through. So he's kind of ready to go forward, but not ready because he still has this moon card to deal with, which is hidden knowledge. And as I said, he's looking backward. He's looking this way for it. These cards are not showing any forward movement, although this card would suggest that there will be movement. There is movement. And he, uh, he probably has some plans to continue to try to stop the transfer of power. And he may be moving in that direction with this card. There shows some movement, but there's still things that have been unresolved and looking backward to the past. So I don't think uh, anything's going to happen right away. Uh, he's going to have to come to terms with it, and I don't see him coming to terms with it with these cards. So he's still struggling in his head. Okay. Let's look at, let's put these in here. I'm sort of curious about his children and how they're dealing with the uh, election. So should we pick one? Let's, let's, let's look at Ivanka and see what she's up to. Ivanka, apparently he takes her counsel more than anyone else. Um, so I have no idea what the story is with that and her husband. So how is Ivanka dealing with this election? Ivanka. Hmm. Interesting. Again, we see, now again, we see, you know, there's forward movement this way, backward movement this way. And what do we see here? We see the death card, which is transformation. You know, that, that has happened. Uh, certainly, her life is going to be changing. And um, death is transformation. And it's, it's, it is, that's the one figure that's sort of looking in this direction. So I think she sees that the writing on the wall. How does she respond? And there was this, the, the, the uh, hermit is looking back. Hermit is looking at the death card. So here we see someone... Um, looking at death and looking for a silver lining, perhaps, looking for information, not sure what to do, because again, this is, the death is going forward. This center card is looking back at death. And the hermit is, of course, looking, looking for knowledge, looking for uh, light, looking for a way out. And I would say the transformation is, I think she is further along in understanding what had happened uh, to uh, the situation. I think she sees the writing on the wall. Now, she doesn't know what that's going to mean to her necessarily, but she's trying to figure that out. I think she is seeing that she has some vulnerabilities in her position, uh, what she did at the White House. I think she realizes that maybe some of the things they did weren't, weren't quite kosher. So she's looking to see how she can... Um, manage the her her uh entry into civilian life you want to call civilian life and how that's going to affect her and here we have the temperance card again uh the forward movement is only the transformation here we see the backward movement of the of the uh hermit and then here's temperance which is mixing two things together and there's some spiritual energy with this card and um it's also called the art card so, uh, and I also see her making deals for herself, maybe talking to different people, seeing how she can somehow segue into a civilian life. And uh, she's calling together her, her, uh, her, her guides, and she's calling together different people so she can somehow bring things together to, for her to continue onward. But still, I think, again what is going on with her is still undecided. They're, they're, I think from the two readings, just these two brief readings, I think they're really trying to uh, figure out what their next step is and what they're putting it off as much as they can because there's got to be, they have to start planning their own life and they're, they're trying to do that, but everything is still 
in in process of of it's not sh nothing sure at this point. Okay, now let's look at Mr. Giuliani. I mean, the, the whole thing is. Uh, Joe Scarborough says it's it's just a circus. It's just a circus. The whole thing is a circus right now. Let's look at uh, Rudy Giuliani and see what his what's going on with Rudy Giuliani. He make he's 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 now representing Trump in all these uh, in some of these hearings with the states. He doesn't know what he's doing. He hasn't he hasn't been in the courtroom for years and years and years. So let's let's see how Rudy Giuliani is doing and what his plans are. Yeah. Well, Rudy's going to have a little harder time than everyone else, it seems. So here we have uh, the Empress, the Empress's uh, fertility and a wonderful card to have. It's in the it's in the past and it's kind of looking looking towards the future. Um, the Empress card is fertility, growth. It's a wonderful card to have. And I think his, his, um, his involvement with Trump has been very um, satisfying to him, his involvement with Trump, even though there's been so many irregularities with their relationship and the interviews that he's done. And he's, he's made a fool out of himself. But he, he feels it's been really positive for him. He feels he's, you know, he's doing okay. He's, he's moving forward with this. But where is he moving forward to? So here we have, again, we have two cards here that aren't really going anywhere. We have this hidden knowledge where, you know, there's a lot, un, there's a lot of unknowns. And I think he's looking to the past, a, a better time. I think he's going to have a hard time with it because he's the moon card is looking back to the past where there was a very positive relationship and he felt like he was you know in the thick of things. I mean he was the one that was going, traveling all over the country when Trump was in office. I think he has idealized his his part of the last four years when he was used as um, uh, Trump's right hand man, you know, behind the scenes, and he enjoyed that a lot. But now he's in a different position with this with this card the moon and there's all this stuff happening and it's under the you know it's behind the scenes he doesn't understand a lot of it what's going on either even though he's trying to figure it out and where does it all lead to it leads to the devil card which he has an addiction he's tied to trump and uh they have an addiction to each other and where are they going they're not going anywhere is there any resolution is there any future in this they're tied to one another and they have almost an addiction towards one another and they feed off each other and it's not in a good way. So even though he enjoyed his time with the president, uh, very nostalgic, he sees now that there's been there's a lot of problems have come up. He didn't expect. I think he didn't expect all these problems to come up, even though he knew that Trump was, you know, kind of off the hook. And now he's he's kind of uh, tied himself up with that. And and where, look at where it's leading. It doesn't it doesn't lead. It's not a good situation for him at all. So we may see um, some problems with Rudy before we see problems with Trump. Okay, now, do I want to do any more for this? Let's see, what can I ask another thing about this? Well, let's talk about, let's see how Joe Biden is doing in the last one of these short readings. Let's see how Joe Biden is doing. Let's see what kind of cards Joe Biden gets. chariot, the death card, and the hierophant. Oh, that's interesting too. Again, we see we see the, the chariot, there's forward movement. Um, he did win the election, he's moving ahead, and uh, there's transformation. There's the death card in the center, but still it's looking towards the future, so that's a good thing. Transformation, these death cards are not necessarily bad cards. They're the uh, death card happens as a transformation, and then it allows for new growth. So he's in, uh, I mean, he also is in a very funky position because he's sort of being president. He sees the COVID situation getting worse. His hands are tied, and there has, transformation has to move forward, but he's stuck. And so what does he do? He looks, 
here is the hierophant. No, here is... Wait a minute. Do I get this right? Yeah. Here's the high priestess. I was thinking that was the um, hierophant. So it's looking to the high priestess. And that's another. That's a hierophant type card. It's the female pope. And he's looking towards this woman figure, the hidden knowledge. This, um, it's, it's a scholarly uh, card and a spiritual, very spiritual card and very intuitive card. So he's going to be depending on his own intuition, on his own past knowledge. He has a lot of knowledge. Here she is with a book. And it is the uh, female pope. And the popus, also known as the popus, is also one that's government, that's knowledge, that's scholarly. And so he's looking to, to this for uh, how to move forward. And um, this knowledge is not provided yet. And in fact, with the high priestess, it's still hiding knowledge. So uh, that's interesting, too, because there isn't any transformation. There's no transitional uh, thing set up right now. So he's kind of going blind. He has the experience, his own experience, of running the government, and he's bringing on board a lot of experienced people. So this shows a really uh, good sign. But then again, she's not looking towards the future. She's looking in the past. So he's bringing all these people up. But again, it's going to be a tough time for Joe Biden because he's not really president yet. He's president-elect. And there's no, he still has to hold out for uh, the Trump uh, presidency to end, the Trump presidency to open up the transitional phase. And so he's kind of also stuck, although it looks like he's doing the right thing with this high priestess here. Let's see, anyone else? Um, let's look one last look, and this is not the government. Let's just look at the 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 elephant in the room, and that's the COVID situation. Let's see what's 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 the COVID situation. I mean, we know it's awful right now, but there is still some hope. There is hope on the horizon. Let's say what's the future. What's what's going on with the COVID right now? The wheel of fortune, the hangman. And strength. Well, that, those are good cards. Now we finally see a card that's looking towards the future. Uh, we see this this uh, situation where it's faded. Things are happening beyond our control, and you can ride the waves. We ride it up. We ride it down. So that's that's how it's been for sur for sure. Here's the hangman. It's a different perspective, and we are coming into a new a new perspective now that we have uh, on the horizon. We have the um, the vaccines on the horizon, so that's really good. But what does that call into play? We call it the strength card. So we still need to be strong. We still have to make wise decisions. And but you see, with the with the strength card, uh, she is managing this lion, this I don't know, lion or some kind of creature here, and. It's, it's, she's taking it, she's not taking it down, but she's managing the beast. So I think it does look good. Again, uh, it, we are turning a corner to some extent, um, and we will continue to go forward with strength. And once that strength hits, well, you know, it'll be good news for us. I think this is a really good sign for the country, this, this little brief little three card reading. So that's my um, a few a few readings for uh, using the Marseille deck, a very cursory. Uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.